Hey guys, I just want to throw this in at the beginning. As of today, I'm not going to be uploading the, the full length, the long, like 50 to hour and a half long episodes because A, they would destroy my computer while rendering. Like the hour and a half one, part three, took literally over six hours to like render and export from Premiere. So I don't want to have to deal with that. And B, they just don't seem like they do as well as the shorter episodes. So I want to keep putting out these shorter episodes instead. These first few that I'm going to be putting out are going to be kind of rough because I would have been commentating over them like they were the longer episodes. But around episode 9, I believe, is when I actually convert into knowing that I'm going to be doing these shorter episodes. So those I will be explaining everything a lot better after dialogue and I'll be just giving a lot more context to things. Uh, you'll see in this episode, there are a few parts where I chime in like I am right now and give a little context onto what's going on. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy these shorter episodes. Subscribe for more and yeah. So what's up guys? We're back here playing Paper Mario. Uh, I'm actually really excited to continue this game. Really liking it so far. We just got, we just took care of the red streamer. So now it's time to move on to the blue streamer. Kind of want to go back and visit Toad Town to see what's going on there. See if there's any uh, anything we can buy, anything we can check out. Maybe check out that dogfight dojo kind of thing from the second episode. I'm kind of confused on whether these are like consumables or if they... I mean, picking up confetti is pretty annoying, so I'll buy this. Okay, cool. So it looks like it's a one, one-time one purchase thing. Glad we got that then. I could see this either being some sort of dojo where we have to fight people or a place for us to learn new attacks and stuff like that. It looks like maybe this is just to practice action commands. Uh, yeah, I'm not really interested in any of this. Okay, one thing I did just remember from the walk back is that this house right here was actually wrapped in the streamer. So let's go inside this house and check out what it's about. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna unlock something that shows us how, or that shows us um, if we're close to toads or not. Is this where we meet our first partner? Looks like this is where you meet the bomb. So I originally didn't commentate over this, but I'm gonna add some context right now about the bomb bomb. It's a bomb bomb that lost all of its memory and he's been traveling around the world trying to regain his memory or relive some experiences or something to see if he could get his memory back. Um, we ask him if he wants to come with us, but he acts like he doesn't really want to. But then he changes his mind and says, hey, can I actually come with you? And we say yes, which was honestly probably a mistake. All right, cool. Well, I'm excited to see how the battle system changes with the partner now. Maybe the uh, whole two turn attack thing uh, will be split up into me and my partner. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't. I actually don't really know how this is going to work out if that's not it. Maybe the partner will be its own attack like the boots and the, and the hammer. But that would be really lame. Look, I'm gonna use my bomb myself to blow up this path. Oh, why don't you blow this up? Alright, so is bomb guy just gonna chill there? Oh, he just straight up does damage. Wow, so dramatic. Okay, that's kind of useless. Where's, where's the bomb? So we're just gonna assume that he's ahead of us and not like somewhere lost in that grass? Like he can't even see over it. What about the bomb? Like, we totally need him. Oh, 
What is this? Friendship Plaza. I really... I don't know. It just... I don't like the way that this partner is. I, they, they make them feel more like a nuisance in this game to deal with than someone that actually like helps you and that you enjoy having around. It, exactly like that. Like, are you serious? So now does that mean that we have to jump down here and find him? Of course. Like, there's... It would have been way too easy to just walk up there. It honestly feels like you have to babysit your partners in this game. Like, it's cool that we have partners, but I hope not all of them are like this. Oh my god, of course. Why? That's exactly what I'm thinking. There's no way he's ahead of us, right? Like, this better not be a waste of time going away. How? That was really annoying. Honestly, like, I did not have a fun time with that at all. Now let's just try to not run into enemies, because there's no point in battling in this game unless you're out of confetti. I did not commentate over this again, but essentially what happens is Mr. Bomb here decides that I don't want to go into the water temple because... I'm scared of places like that, so I'm just gonna sit outside the whole time and not help you at all, and essentially just not be a partner. This fucking bomb. Honestly, like, fuck him. I actually really don't like him. Like all the other partners in every game, they're homies. But in this game, he's like a fucking child that you have to babysit. I think that's where I'm gonna call it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed, but if, it's, if you have any kind of experience similar to mine, you probably didn't. And uh, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys later.